The Bonson Group CEO, David Bonson, joins me now uh, with more on this. So, David, first of all, I'm not sure even where you stand with respect to additional stimulus. I think it's going to have to be done for a a variety of reasons. But if it is, what would be the best approach? Yeah, most certainly additional stimulus is going to be done. That's probably a lot more political than it is economic. But there are certain things that can and should be done that would actually be stimulative. I don't happen to agree that the direct payment to taxpayers comes with any sort of multiplier effect or enhancement of productivity, which is what we need for jobs and economic growth to get out of this sort of COVID-induced period we're in. Um, By the way, Larry Kudlow would agree with me completely on this as well. I'm very confident. So a payroll tax cut, I think, is stimulative. You get more impact from it than just the uh, dollar-for-dollar cut that it represents. I I think ultimately, Charles, that we're in a position here where the politics are going to drive it. The Democrats have the majority in the House. They put a three trillion dollar bill on the table. The president, you know, doesn't want to look in an election year like he's not trying to help. So we're going to get something very expensive. I just hope it's as economically productive as possible. You know, I read something this morning, uh, the notion of tax credits for businesses that provide a safer environment for their workers and the customers to return. The Douglas Old Aiken put that out. So there's some unique, interesting ideas out there. What about something like that? No, and I think that there's a couple of things they can do there. First of all, I certainly believe that there are some businesses that if they're going to be getting monies from the federal government, they may as well get those things that the government is asking them to do, some sort of support around the business Oh, David, let me put you on hold for a second. Produce. We're going to go to President Trump. He's in Arizona at the border wall.